Hello and welcome. My name is Justin Nifong and I have been creating YouTube videos for the channel Contender Converter Premium. On this channel we have many how-to videos related to the software. I encourage you to check this out, but today I want to show you some features of the software. If we open Contender Converter Premium, you can use the button Add Photos to add images to the selection so that we can begin editing or modifying them. Once you click Add Photos, you have the option to add one or many photos, add a folder, or add a folder in all subfolders. Today, we're going to be using Add One or Many Photos. From here, you can select the images that you want to add to the selection, press shift and click the last one. This will select all of them. Click open and now you can see your images have been imported. In the upper left hand corner you can see that there is a preview of the image that is selected. If you use the arrow keys you can navigate through your images. If you would like to remove an image from the selection, just select it and press delete. You can add more images to the selection by dragging and dropping them or by using the Add Photos button again. Please note that when you delete an image from the selection, it does not delete the original file, only removing it from the selection. Once you have the images that you want to use imported, click Next. Under the Convert panel, we have the option to convert to a format as well as reduce or enlarge the size of images. For this example, I'm going to leave it on JPEG and put the quality at 100%. We also have the option to preserve metadata, which I'm going to do, and extract preview. This will remove the JPEG preview file embedded into the image if it is available. This is much faster but will result in a reduction of quality. I'm going to uncheck this today. There are multiple presets for reducing or enlarging the size of your images. For this example, I'm going to use increase or decrease by percentage. You can put the zoom factor in. I'm going to use 75%. Please note that any changes you make here will be applied to all of your images resulting in a batch operation. This saves a lot of time and trouble because you don't have to individually edit the images. In the bottom left hand corner you'll notice there is a size preview option. This shows how big your images are currently, which is before, and estimating, which is approximately what size the images will be after the conversion. This is very useful when you're trying to save memory on your computer. Once you have your images ready to go, you can click Start. This will start the conversion process. Contender Converter Premium is now converting the files. Once the processing is done, you can click Open Files Location to view your new images in the Conversion Output folder. I'm going to delete them in this case. Please remember that when you convert a file in Contender Converter Premium, the original file is not modified and a new one is created. Under the Rename tab, you can have the option to enable renaming and this is a good option if you like if you need to rename many images at the same time. For example there are a number of presets. We can use file name counter, date dash file name or custom. For this example I'm going to use custom. There are a number of tags available for this example, I'm going to use Creation Day and click Insert. 
As you can see, the day that the image was taken on is put at the beginning of the file name. I want this to be at the end, so I'm going to select it, use Control or Command X to cut, and Control or Command V to paste. Now you can see that the day that the image was created on is at the very end. There are many options. This is just a quick example. I would encourage you to take the time to look through these and find the ones that are relevant to your images. Moving on to the subfolder tab, we have the option to create subfolders. This will create automatic subfolders organizing your images based on the metadata. This is very useful and saves a lot of time. Again, there are several presets. You can have full customization of your folders. However, in this example, I'm just going to use year.month as I find it to be the most effective. Next, we have PDF Album. In the PDF Album tab, we have the option to combine your images into a PDF. By default, it, the page orientation is portrait and there is only one image per page. For example, if I change it to six images per page, you can see in the example, in the preview area, that there will be six images on each page. You can also increase the white space between each image. This is very useful if you would like to share your images without taking up a lot of space on your computer, as well as increasing upload time. Under Raw Processing, we have the option to edit the white balance. By default, Use White Balance from Camera is selected. You also have the options for Contented Converter Premium to automatically select a white balance or for you to manually. There is several profiles if you would like to select them or you can enter in the value here. Perform denoising is very effective for low light shots. This will effectively sharpen your images, making them much sharper, reducing the noise. Boosting, we have you can boost the sharpness, color, or contrast of your images, making them even more vibrant. Under the Effects tab, you have the option to add multiple effects. This is a very quick, quick way to make edits. For example, there is the motion blur option and you can adjust the speed or intensity. Effects are also combinable, so if you select two, they will both be added at the same time. To remove an effect, just select it in the selection area and click remove. In the Watermark tab, you have the option to add a watermark to your images. If you are going to distribute these images and you would like your name to be on them, then you could do that. You can edit the font to whatever you like, as well as whether it is bold and what size the font is. To change the color, just click on the color option and you can adjust the alignment. Finally, there is transparency. This will make it semi-transparent so that it is not the main focus of your image. In the last tab of Content to Converter Premium, we have metadata. This gives us the option to add all the information that we need to to our images. Not only is this useful for legal or copyright purposes, but also if you're searching for your images, it will also search the metadata. So if you enter the location or city, then that will be searchable. So that's how to use Content Converter Premium in a nutshell. If you would like to look at more advanced features, check out the YouTube channel and look at some of those videos. There is many more tutorials there for you to watch. Thank you for downloading the trial 
of Contento Converter Premium and we hope you have a great experience. If you do, please consider purchasing the full license of Contento Converter Premium so you can use it for all your future image needs. Thank you for watching.